right, so I finished the third uh, row, the third round, and by the end of this, you should have 24 stitches all the way around. So you can double check if you need to. And then we're gonna move on to our next pattern. So the next pattern we are going to be uh, basically same thing, but we're gonna do three single crochets first and then increase on the fourth one. Uh, so it'll be one, two, three, and before I forget, I'm gonna put in my stitch marker one two three right here and increase so when i guess when i say increase we we're going to put two in the same stitch okay so increase and and one more okay and then once you're done you're going to keep going all the way around once you're done with that you should have 30 stitches all the way around, all right? All right, now that you have done all that, you should have 30 stitches all the way around. And then the next part is really easy. For the next four rows, you're going to just uh, do a single crochet in all the stitches. We're not doing any more of the increases. We're just going to single stitch all the way around until row eight. Okay, so right now we have row, we have four rows. One, two, three, four, and on the other side, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I have my eighth row. I've just finished it, so yeah, as you, crochet it should start becoming like a little bowl shape so I'm gonna count how many rows I have remember this in the middle each of these are are one so this whole thing is one two three four five six seven eight so I have eight on this side and I should have eight on this side too we'll keep. so the next part where for this is we're going to start decreasing the amount of stitches that we have around this is going to be like it's butt, it's fat butt. Um, so we're going to decrease. So how we do that is we're going to actually stitch three first in our next three stitches. So one, two, three. So I'm going to put my stitch marker back in. One, two, three here and then we're now we're gonna decrease okay so with decrease we're basically putting two stitches back together as one and there's lots of ways to do it but uh, I like doing it this way because it's like an invisible decrease and you can't really see the stitches as well the decrease stitches so you, we want to bring these two stitches into one so how we do that is a little bit different I'm gonna take my hook and I'm actually just going to take the front loop of the first stitch. So I'm not gonna go through both like this. Um, I'm actually just going to take one loop that you see here. So we have this one loop here and the original one and I'm gonna take the next one as well. I'm just gonna take the front loop as well. So in the next stitch here, I'm also gonna just take one, the front loop like that. Okay, so now I have, I should have three um, on here. So what I'm gonna do is yarn, and I'm gonna pull it through both, both the two of them like this. So now I have two again. Yarn over and pull through both. And now I have decreased. I have, I used both of those ones, both stitches. Okay, so again, the pattern will be one, two, three, and decrease. So again, I'm gonna do the next stitch is one, two, three, and 
I'm going to decrease again in the next two stitches. So putting two in one stitch. So again, I'm going to only take the front loop of the first one and also taking the front loop of the second one like that. And then pull the yarn through both of them. Okay, and then yarn over and pull through both. So that's how I'm going to decrease all the way around again until I get back to my beginning of the round. So, all right, so yes, once you are done decreasing that one row, you should have 24 stitches now all the way around. Um, and then basically what you're going to do is for the next 10 rows, you're going to single crochet all the way around. So this will be the body, like the bulk of the body. Um, yeah, so you basically just single crochet all the way around until you have, until row 19. So I'll see you at row 19. Uh, okay, we are on row 19 now. Um, it should look like the bottom is fatter for the butt. And now we're working towards the chest area. So before we finish the last stitch on our row 19, we're gonna change color to the white for the chest. Um, so what we're going to do then is you're gonna do it like you would normally put in the stitch. So in the last one, pull through. So now you have two. So now this is the part where you're going to change the color. So I'm gonna take my stitch marker out and we're gonna change it to the white because it's the white chest. So you're gonna take your other yarn and what you're going to do is um, we're gonna put the white yarn over like this and then we're actually gonna pull through the white through both of them like this now. So now you are working with the white yarn instead of the uh, brown yarn or you will be using the black one. So what you're going to do is uh, I'm just going to continue with this white one and I'm going to just stitch two first. Okay, so one. And two. Um, I'm sorry, we're going to tie these two now. So I'm just going to um, make a really long line so it doesn't come out. And then I'm going to cut off the brown yarn a little bit. And I'm going to take this yarn here and this other yarn here and I'm going to tie a knot basically so it's, so it's secure. So tie a knot. Sometimes I like to do... No, don't pull too tight because if you pull it too tight then your stitch might be too small so just like medium strength doesn't have to be too tight and then I'll make another one just to be safe again not too tight and then I'll just keep going but with the white yarn now we're actually going to be doing more decreases okay yes we're gonna do more decreases so uh, what we're gonna do is gonna stitch two and then decrease once so again, decrease, we put it, it through the front loop only, both on both of them, so two front loops. Pull the white yarn through both, and then yarn over, pull through both again. Okay, so we decreased that. Okay, now we're back at the beginning of our round, because you can see that it's white again. That's why I didn't use a stitch marker because I knew where I started this time. So uh, you would stuff it with filling right now into the body um, as much as you need to make it firm. Okay, so I stuffed it with some filling so that now it's uh, firm. Going to finish the rest, and then we'll all, we're, we only have two more rows, and we'll be done with this. So we're just gonna keep decreasing. Um, so what the next pattern will be single crochet and then a decrease. So we're going to start at the next white one because we just single dec decrease. So we're going to do a single. And then 
then decrease. So this part is usually when I pull a little bit more tight because it is the uh, end and we are just decreasing. Uh, so it needs to be a little bit tighter. At the end of this, you should have 12 stitches around. And the last one is basically just, we're just decreasing all the way around. So it will be six times, I believe. So now that you've done that, what we're going to do is we're gonna cut the yarn. Doesn't need to, we're not leaving a long tail for this one, so we're gonna cut the yarn. Not too much, maybe like here, because we won't need it. So now that you've cut it, what you're gonna do with this, you're going to fasten it off. So you just yarn over, pull the whole yarn through and pull this and it should be secured. And then we're gonna also make this hole a little smaller by putting this yarn in the front loops that we, in the stitches that we just made. Okay, so you're gonna use your needle, your needle, um, put it through the yarn. And then we're just going to basically put it through each stitch's front loop so like kind of like we're decreasing. Uh, so we'll put it through the first one, second one, and then the third, four, five, and the last one is right there and all you have to do is pull and it'll make that hole smaller like magic okay and then after you're done that you're gonna take this uh, needle and you basically put it through because we don't need a tail for this um, till you can find till it can come out from one of the stitches like that okay and then all you do is pull this Pull it all the way through, take it out, and this is the easy part where we're just going to cut this off. So what I usually do is I pull it a little bit first, and then cut it at the end, and then it should disappear, and all you have now is your, the body. Okay, and you can mold it, because there's filling inside, to mold it really, make it look like the butt is here, and then this chest right here. So you can mold it, you do whatever you need to make it look like the butt. And then we're done with the body. Let me know if you have any questions.